What up my YouTube friends? I'm excited for today's video. It is short and sweet and it is a workout that you are going to want to do. You can do it in the gym after your lifting session or maybe you want to do it at home. It is a core circuit. Now let me tell you my kind of philosophy when it comes to core and ab strengthening. But first, if you don't know who I am, my name is Steph, otherwise known as ExoGingy on Instagram, and I help women ditch dieting, get stronger, and love their bodies. If you want to join this community on Facebook, just click the first link below and join our free community. So basically, my philosophy comes to power, strength, and defining. So power basically means you want those fast movements, those ones that get your heart rate up, that get the fat burning, that get, you know, get you fired, fired right up, okay? Then it, you want to strengthen. You want to strengthen your muscles, your entire core. So those are movements kind of like plank or plank twists or um, push-ups or anything where you're really using your muscles. The last one is defining. So that's more about making your muscles pop, making your abs pop. So these three movements that I'm going to show you, the first one is power, the second one is strength, and the third one is defining. You can do these in a circuit. So maybe set a timer for 45 seconds to a minute, depending how long you want to do it, and then move on to the next exercise and repeat three to four times. Or you can kind of count reps, but I like to set a timer because I don't really like to think and have to count reps when I'm doing this, okay? So check out the um, exercises and then I want you to click the link below that says my ab routine and you can get the exact three circuits that I do personally a few times a week for a strong, strong core. All right, here are the movements. All right, so your power movement is side to side plank jacks. You are keeping perfect form in plank as in your shoulders are staying over your wrists, your legs are staying glued together, and you're just jumping from side to side. The key is to keep your shoulders right over your wrists and your hips level. So you don't want your hips coming up like a down dog. You wanna keep them in good plank form. This is power, getting your heart rate up and building that strength in your core. The second move is a variation on your hip dip. So you're gonna dip your hip to the right five times and then to the left five times and then you're gonna do opposite left, right, left, right, four times, and then repeat. So this is why it's good to do this in a circuit, a timer, because counting this one it just gets confusing. And you do have the modification to go down to your knees and do these little twists from there if you're finding it too much on your shoulders. Your last movement is defining. Now, I am doing a variation with this cable crunch. I'm crunching one leg in as my opposite leg is hovering. This really attacks your lower abs. If you're doing this at home, you can just omit the um, cable and use a weight if you have one or just extend your arms out long. I really, really feel this movement and when I, when I started integrating it into my routine, my abs were sore for days. So there you have the power, the strength, and defining. Repeat this circuit three to four times, and I would recommend setting a timer for maybe 45 seconds to a minute each movement, depending on um, your strength and how strong you are with these movements. All right, there you have it. Three moves, that's all you need Focus on form, focus on getting through them, and you will see a difference if you do this three, maybe four times a week, that's all you need. So if you want more of this, you want more circuits just like this to make your core strong AF, then click the stronger ab guide that's below, that's my ab routine, and I share my routines with you guys. I will see you in the next video.